I got Touch Funny by TSA. There was something around my crotch area. Good morning. Today is Sunday and today we are going to Texas. I hope everybody's having a great day, whatever you're watching me from. Morning, evening, afternoon, night. I don't know what time it is where you're at. I am having one more of this amazing Colombian coffee before we head to the airport. It is about 6.45 in the morning and my flight is at a 9.30. I got a layover in Houston. I think it's about two hours. And then we're flying to Bronzeville, Texas. I'm gonna spend the night in Bronzeville and then we're heading over to Mexico. The name of the place that we're going in Mexico is called Matamoros and that's where my mom lives. I'm looking forward to going there and I haven't seen my mom in about three years. So, you know, I'm pretty excited to see her again. I'm pretty excited to see my family down in Texas and that's it. Today's Sunday, Sunday fun day. I'm going to finish this coffee and heading over to the airport. See you in a few. So I am all checked in. I paid uh, an extra $3, kind of like a fast lane kind of deal. They had it outside the airport and you pay $3 and you don't have to stay in line for uh, at the check-in counter. So it was worth it. TSA was fun. <laughs> I got touched funny by TSA. For some reason, they uh, on the x-ray machine, there was something around my crotch area. Well, the, the x-ray machine picked up something around my crotch area, so they had to do a secondary inspection. I need therapy. <laughs> so, also, that's the thing though. I don't know what it is, but every time I go through a TSA, or back in the day it was, a, I don't know what they call it back in the day, security check. Every time I travel in the States, for some reason, I always get a secondary inspection. <laughs> I don't know what it is, man. I don't know if my name is Flag. I don't know if, uh, I don't know. It's like, it never fails. And last time I came to the States, I flew to Texas as well from um, LAX. And the same thing happened. And it didn't happen in San Diego. It happened when it came, when I got, when I landed in Dallas. I got a secondary inspection, same deal. They inspected me, whatever. Yeah, but for some reason, I always get a secondary inspection. I always get pulled over by TSA or security checks. But anyways, I'm checked in. I'm good to go. I try to go to the USO, but it's not. It's, that's an open until eight in the morning, and the the line for TSA was super long. So I didn't want to. I was gonna be there for like ten minutes. So it wasn't worth it. I got me some Jack in the Box. I got me some a breakfast a meat lovers or no, sorry, meat lovers burrito, a coffee, a hash brown, and let's give this breakfast burrito a try and uh, see what happens. So it comes with bacon, sausage, ham and a whole bunch of eggs, so. Oh yeah, and uh, of course some, uh, it's not hot, just some, some red sauce. Put a little bit, let's wrap it back up and give it a try. 1,150 calories. <laughs> Wow. So good. So good. I told you guys, I'm, um, I'm eating. I'm eating while I'm here. I'm eating everything and anything. I'm gonna finish this burrito. I'm gonna drink my coffee and get on the plane and go to Texas. So I will see you in Dallas. Crazy baby, you're dead. 
So I've made it to Dallas airport and this airport is super nice. They got everything in here. They got, they even got a 7-Eleven. It's huge. I even had to take a train to go to my gate <laughs> because my gate is in terminal B and this place is nice. It's very, very nice. Um, I'm actually in the USO right now. A lot of times and a lot of USOs, they don't let retirees use the facilities. So if you're watching this and you're a veteran, if you're a retired military, and if you end up coming to Dallas airport for a layover, check out the USO, pretty nice USO. They got a computer room, they got a movie room, they got a silent room where you can take a nap, where you can go to sleep. They got food, I got a hot dog, I got a coffee, a whole bunch of snacks. I even got some uh, Girl Scouts cookies. <laughs> they got books if you want to read. Uh, it's pretty cool, man. It's a pretty good, uh, good place to take a rest and to, you know, kill time while you're waiting for your flight. And the USO is right in front of my gate. I'm going to give me another hot dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, everything is free. If you're in the military or if you retire, take advantage of all your, uh, your benefits. You know, this is a great benefit. You know, I get to kill time here at this lounge, uh, USO lounge, and... I get something to eat, get coffee, you know, it's, uh, can't complain, man, it's, it's, good. it's a good deal. I think I got an hour left before my next flight down to Brownsville. I already had a couple of hot dogs, so I got some chips, some other candies that I can, uh, that I can take or I can eat, so see you in a few. Made it to Texas, Brownsville, Texas to be exact. My cousin went and picked me up. I'm staying at my aunt's house. For dinner, we went to a place called Calacas. They had the best tacos. Man, they were, they were so good. I think I had, a, I don't know, I think I had like seven tacos because uh, my little niece didn't finish hers, so she gave them to me. And I am not gonna say no. <laughs> I was so full, I didn't wanna eat anymore, but I had to do it. Anyways, I finally made it home. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, like, dislike, do whatever you wanna do. Until next time, I am out. See you soon.